I just had a meeting with our three project managers and they want me to build a dynamic dashboard to show the progress of their respective projects. So let's meet them. You have Sandeep who's always neat. You have Roberto, cool is his motto. And Malika, she prefers the phone over Prada. Speaking about phone, she just texted me. She wants us to subscribe to the channel and like this video. I love this idea. Now in all seriousness, you can see that everything is dynamic. If you change the person, the title will change, the projects will change, and the percentage completion will update. Let's go and get this done. This is my data set, and you can see the name of the person, the project, the task, and completed. If it's zero, it's not completed. One means it's completed. Now, the first headache that we have is to calculate the percentage completion by project. How do we do this manually? If you see here, we have like 20 tasks for the first project. You have to sum all those numbers. You'll get 11, for example, and divide it by 20 tasks. That will be 55%. Now, how do we do this with a pivot table? You have to use something called measure. Measure is just a calculation. The problem is to be able to use measures, you need a data model. And in this data model, you need to put your data. So how do we do this? It sounds super complicated, but it's only two easy steps. First step, transform this data into an Excel table. What is an Excel table? I'm just going to summarize it for you. If you don't know it, you're missing a lot, but it's basically a database. So that sounds IT geeky, but we just have to select inside and go to insert table. As simple as this, we have headers, this is our data, press OK, and here, let's call it data, press enter. The second step is to add this to our data model, so click inside, power pivot, add to data model, and here nothing fancy happened, you just click on diagram view and you can see your table with the headers. Let's just close this, now we can add a pivot table, so go to insert, pivot table from data model. If you have a different version of Excel, just look for this. And we're gonna put it in a new worksheet. And here I have my data. I want to put the project name. This is my project name. Let's go to design. And here I just want to change the color to make it nicer. This is the color. Let's remove this grand total. It's annoying. Off for rows and columns. Perfect. I want to add a slicer. So right click on manager and put add as slicer. This is our slicer. We're going to fix it in a bit. What I want to do before that is add another pivot table. So let's copy this one. Control C, Control V. And for this one, I don't want the project name. Bye bye. I want the manager. Let's put the manager here. Let's select one of them. For example, you can see it updates. I just want to move this table a bit down so we have some space. Now let's arrange a little bit this. We don't need this title manager. Right click, slicer settings, and we can remove this pre header. Press OK. There we go. We need to do a second thing. So here, if we click on slicer, let's add three columns. So now the three people are in one row. I'm just going to make this a bit smaller, put it here for now. And let's get rid of those annoying grid lines. So view, grid lines, there we go. The next thing I want to do is this dynamic title. So what I could do is equal, let's do double quotation, performance dashboard. And here we have a dash, double quotation, and let's select the person. Now you know why I have a second pivot table. Press enter, there we go change it to Roberto, everything changes. We can just format it quickly. So we go here, select this color, and we can make it bold, make the font bigger, 20 is good. Next step is the famous measure. How do we calculate this measure? We go to power pivot and we select measure, new measure. Let's call it percentage completion. And here we're just going to do the sum of, we have to select the completed field. So you can see this is the table completed. 
double click, divided by the count of completed. We close parentheses. Let's make it as a number. We want a percentage, zero decimal places. Press OK. There we go. Now we have our measure. Let's click on this table. We open it. Percentage completion. This is the magic. You get it here. The next step for us is to get 1 minus 55%, 1 minus 65%, and so on. So I'm just going to do equal. 1 minus, you select this, and you have a big surprise. This is a crazy formula. Now, it looks crazy, but it's very simple. This is my measures. This is the name of my measure, so that's very easy. A4 is basically the table. You can see pivot table. And here I need field 1 and item 1. Field 1 is the data table project name, which is this. And item 1, I'm trying to get project apocalypse. Now this will change if I select somebody else. So what do I do in this case? I'm just going to remove this piece. Then I'm going to go outside the double quotation, do and. And here we're going to do double quotation. We have the other square bracket, double quotation. So now I have just removed Apocalypse from this and I'm just connecting this as if it was the same text. The only thing I need to add is the name of the project. So I have another AND here and we're going to put A5. A5 is where I have my project. Press ENTER, you get 0 0.45. This is perfect. Let's just change the formatting here. Nothing fancy. I'm just going to drag this down and there we go. Now it's time for our famous donut charts. So don't click in your table. Click anywhere else where there is nothing and do insert. Here you're just going to click on this circle donut. This is my donut chart. I want to format it and change it to 6 for the height and 6 for the width. We have it. I'm just going to put it here and we're going to start populating it. Right click, select data. We're going to add a series. You don't need a name here, but I'm going to start typing 1, 1, 1, etc. I'm going to do 20 of them. This is how my donut chart will look. So it will have 20 sections for completion. And obviously I'm lazy. I'm not going to type this manually. I just had it prepared from before. So Ctrl C, make it smaller, go here, paste it, press OK. Another OK and you can see this crazy rainbow. Now let's click on this and press on delete so we can remove it. Same thing for the chart title. We remove it. This is a bit bigger. We need to format this. Let's click on those partitions. Right click format data series. And here we have donut whole size. This is a bit small for us. So we can change it to 60. It will make it a bit bigger. You can see. And let's go here and change the color. So for the fill, we can select this blue color. Now you see it start to resemble what I had as a final product. The other thing that I want to change is remove the border and the background. So we just click on it, no fill, and we go to border. We want no line. There we go. This is our first donut chart. Let's just move it a little bit to the left and copy paste it two times. To do this, you just select it, press Ctrl Shift and just drag it to the right. It will be aligned perfectly. Once you drag it, just release the mouse, but keep your fingers on Ctrl and Shift. You have the first one. Click again, drag and move. Do the same operation. Then leave Ctrl and Shift. We're going to change the colors. That's very easy. Just click on this one. Right click Format Data Series. On this one, I'm just going to select the orange. And for the last one, we're going to select the blue color. Now it's starting to take shape. The next step is to show the percentage completion. It is trick time. The trick is we are gonna add another data series. So right click here, select data, add another series. For series name equal, let's take the project. 
and for the values remove everything and take those two now you understand why i have 55 45 it's to have those two colors press ok and there we go i want those two series to overlap to do this i just right click change series chart type and i'm gonna put this on a secondary axis once i do this you can see the overlap and the rest is very easy click here right click format data series we're gonna change the colors so here i'm gonna do no fill once i do no fill you can see what you have behind so this is for the first one for the second one you just click on it and you do solid fill and you select white transparency let's put it at 20 and now you have the effect so i'm gonna do the same for the other two very quickly we need to put the percentage completion in each of them we just go to insert illustrations shapes and under shapes you have this text box let's add the text box inside just go to the formula bar and do equal and write b5 this is your 55 percent i'm just gonna put it inside and copy paste it for the other two so let's just do the same technique Control shift and you just drag it and you do the same thing here we drag it now this is not 55 this is b6 because that's the next cell and this one is b7 this is b7 there we go let's just format all this so the color is different so select it click on this color this is the first one this is orange and this is blue now i can press ctrl select the other two and make them bigger so this is 28 for example and i want to change the font so i like great britain i cannot do the accent hello so we just select it press enter there we go we can just move them now the final piece of the puzzle is the name of the projects so here again we're gonna use the same trick let me copy paste all those so control select the three of them control c control v there we go we put them here and we need to change what's happening so for the first one instead of b5 you need a5 because this is where you have the project name we have the same problem we need to just color it let's select all of them control and then you select we can also move them if we want to a little bit that's fine so let's increase the size a little bit let's do bold we are nearly done there is one more trick to show you the trick is how to make this nicer you need to create a new slicer format so for the format you select the slicer and you go here let's do some cosmetics new slicer style for the whole slicer you're gonna select format and we don't want any border so none click here no borders selected item with data let's format it we want to fill it with this color and we want the font to be white you can do whatever you want it's up to your taste unselected item with data format this one we want to border with this color so we're just gonna add it we want to fill with nothing the font to be black so everything is perfect and here if you are shocked that nothing happened don't worry click on it and select your new format there we go you can click on sandeep malika you can click and you have your dashboard automatically updating